Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since the last time, I didn't have a face uh, face cam up last time, but I asked about it on Fetty and people thought it'd be nice if I did do a face cam for these series, so now there is one. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't cover the HUD, so I think it should be fine. We'll see how we go. Um, I'm also using a really silly setup. Um, for some reason, Dolphin doesn't redraw the screen properly. I, I don't know, like when I put it in full screen it stops updating its own picture, but OBS can still see it, so I'm actually looking at the OBS projector instead of looking at what Dolphin has to say directly. It's weird. Um, it should be fine though. Uh, I also have rumble working, which is neat. I don't know if you can tell from me holding the controller, but yeah, when I hammer, get some rumble. You might be able to hear it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, where were we? Um, I th we were trying, we have, uh, 101 punies here. I kinda wish the game had some sort of little recap thing to remind you what you were doing, because it has been a while. Uh, oh, this is the hidden shop. Uh, we don't really need any of these things, so we'll just leave for now. I think we have full stats. Uh, Mario's health is a little low. Yeah, we'll hit that, we'll hit the health block and then we'll go from there. Okay. Let's go up this way. Uh, okay, we can't go that way. Yeah, we'll have to go through the pipe. I can't really remember what we were doing, unfortunately. Uh, I think... I think maybe it was the... We had to get past, like, a, a bad and naughty puny's base over here, right? God, I probably should have watched the previous video to check what we were doing, because I have absolutely no clue. Uh, we cleared them out over here. Let's just get through this room. I wonder if the inside of the tree was always like this. I mean, do you think it was, or do you think someone made it this way? Hmm, it's a mystery. I'm pretty sure this is the place we want to be, so off we go. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh god, there's so many of them. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Wake Hammer won't do enough damage to take out all of them. What I probably want to do uh, is put my partner to Coops. And then we can use a Power Shell. Not enough damage, but it's a good start. Ow. Okay, and then just do another power shell, we'll take out all of them. <laughs> I wonder which stat I need more of. I haven't really been keeping track of the level ups like I have been for Bug Fables. Let me see, I'm level 6 right now. Oh, which means I've done 5 level ups, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, definitely badge points, yeah. Just actually looking at the numbers also indicates I need badge points, so... <laughs> Oh, there's some green out there. I think we're coming into this room in the wrong direction. Um, these little ledges here, once we get a certain item, we'll be able to do something with them, but right now we can't. The structure of this tree is pretty complicated. Looks like we're only gonna move on with the help of the punies, huh? We're gonna seriously need to use our thinking cap as we go forward. Yeah, I don't think we can get through here just yet. I think we need some new abilities first. Oh, hello. Behind here, you got a star piece! <laughs> Up we go! Yeah. 
Didn't quite get the timing on that second one. We are very close to leveling up. We have some great badge points when we do. Okay, I think I think on the opposite side of that room with the like zigzaggy platform there's somewhere we need to go. I think. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is right. I remember taking out two of those, like, bad guy bases, and it might have been this one we had to do. Now we've already been here. Hmm. Anything with these? Uni... Uni star, moon, sun. Okay, uh, we can't get up there. We're kind of stuck. <laughs> Not quite sure where we're supposed to be. Oh, we lost some punies apparently. Over here. I kind of wish I could whistle to them, like in Pikmin, because this is clearly a Pikmin thing. Um. Okay, that's where the, the shop is. Is there anything through this other pipe that we need to go to? This is the way we come in, right? Did we use this plane panel already? I can't remember. Oh, right, yeah, that's how you get to, uh... Get on top of this thing over here. I messed it up, but I've already done it, because I picked up the thing that was up there already, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's continue trying to go this way? Yeah, I, I really needed to watch the past couple of videos to check what I was supposed to do. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's been, like, months since I've last played this. Because it's kind of a hassle, or with dolphin crashing all the time and stuff like that. Uh, you need you just stay there while I have a bit of a look around. Do I want them on the other side for some reason? Maybe? I can't really say why I would want them on the other side though. Something else up here I've forgotten about? Yeah, the layout of this area is a bit confusing. Oh, this door's open. What's through here? Yeah, that just leads to, leads to here again, where we just were. Hmm. I'm gonna leave the peonies there for now and just have a bit of a look around. we had the next party member who lets you go much faster when you're walking around. We haven't unlocked them yet though. They're in chapter 3. And they're pretty great. Okay, and this is where Miss Mouse was. And we got flirted with a little bit. 
Okay, what am I missing? I've just completely forgotten what we're trying to do here. Uh, I don't have any extra items that can help us out. You know, if Goombella's tattles, like, just told you what you're supposed to be doing, uh, that would help a lot. <laughs> okay, let's head back down and see if I can spot something I missed earlier. Okay, this is the puny bubble puzzle. I don't know if it's really, it's really a puzzle, but the puny bubble obstacle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm a little trouble with the jump there because of the frame rate. Uh, let me see. There we go. Come on, punies, we're going this way now. This probably isn't super interesting to watch, huh? <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we got that code from the other side. Is there anything else down here? Hang on, let me just go down. Go down. Okay, that's locked, so we can't go that way. Block. Over there is the shop, which doesn't really help us. I wonder if it's got something to do with that room with the statues. Let me just go back there and have another look around. It was this one, right? Or the one past it. We can't get up there because that's too high. That one doesn't do anything. What about... Okay, no, we need to find this item in the right spot uh, and then bring it back here, but I don't know where it is. the other side again, see if I can spot anything. Hmm. You really wish we could go faster. The, like I said, the part where we get in chapter 3 will let us go much faster. Uh, but we can't get them until chapter 3, so. And now we're just stuck with walking. Put the puny orb there, does that help me at all? It doesn't look like it. it. Gathers the punies, but they don't really do anything once they're gathered. Oh, oh, I think I meant to put them here. Oh, okay. Right, right, I forgot about this bit. Uh, huh? What? What just happened? <laughs> Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. See, I didn't put it on the pedestal because I didn't realize there would, it would help me at all to do that. You should have put, like, a visible button or something I could activate. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb, it hurts. 
Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the crystal star. Ba ba ba. Okay, thanks, Lord Crump. Mario, what do we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. What can we do? Pretty simple, really. This isn't good, Mario. We've got to do something. Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. Yeah, that's what makes this pipe show up, which we can take. Hey, check these out. I swear I've seen these decorated columns before. Huh? Did you feel that? That crazy shaking? What in the world was that? Okay, so we got we got sun, moon, puny star. I believe we have to go back to the other set, uh, and we can now activate them. Uh, now that we have pressed that big black button, we don't have the punies with us, but they weren't any good in combat anyway, so it doesn't really make a big difference. Okay, so yeah, that that left us sidetracked for. 10 minutes or so, but we're back on track now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Actually, it would be faster just to drop down and then take the pipe. Since, yeah, the punies aren't with us, we don't need to worry about helping them get across the path or whatever. We can just do whatever we want, really. <sighs> I think the way this is laid out, you need to have... Both of these areas cleared before the punies are capable of getting caught, but I'm not really sure. Here we are, so the other ones. And now there's these switches here. You can press these, and they... Sun, moon, almost puny, and star. There we go. Oh my god. There's a cave back there. You'll also notice we are now trapped on this side. We can't get back up there because the platforms we had to walk across are gone. So we'll have to go in here instead. And find a big old treasure chest. You got a super boots! Yeah! <laughs> hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These cool kicks power up jump attacks. And you'll be able to use a new technique, so let's practice it, okay? If you press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. Timing is everything. <laughs> wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Wanna try again? No, I got it. Okay, that's just super. Looks like you've mastered the spin jump. I would call it with a ground pound. Um, I think the first game, like, Paper Mario for N64 did the same thing. You can smash through spots like this with your spin jump. That's it, you got it. You can use the spin jump in battle too. Give it a try. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Good luck on your adventure. So, uh, that's powered up our basic jump attack. Instead of one damage, I believe it now does two. Which is absolutely massive, considering how this game works. Uh, we also... Can ground pound now and break those panels that we keep seeing all over the place, which is very helpful. Uh, and yes, I believe we will have a spin jump move when we actually go into battle again. Uh, that's just like an FP move, kind of like these ones, which is nice. Uh, let me see, I want... Ugh. I want all those things. Let me just go back, go back up there and try again. Yeah, the pipe leads back to here. Not too complicated. But we can just drop down here again and give it another shot. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, now we can break these. We can easily free all those punies from the cage because the cage has one of these thingies in it. Which makes it very simple. You got charge and charge to a tactics menu. Charge is basically, you use it, it increases your attack by one for your next attack. So if you charge a couple times, you can boost your attack quite significantly. Wow. 
We also want to get the Shrine Sprite. There we go, we got the Shrine Sprite, and now we're about done down here, so let's get going. We got the most important thing, which is the boots. Uh, but we also got some extra little bonuses. <sighs> Unfortunately, we can't just drop down this time because there's no pipe on this end to help us get back up. We have to actually follow the zigzag. Like so. So yeah, um, I wasted a lot of time there because I didn't think to fall into the trap they, that the bad guys left for me. Whoopsie daisies. Before we go that way, we do want to go that way, but before we do, we want to save the punies. You did it! Yes, yes! Now we can get out of here! Uh, where are the rest of you? Might need to use the puny orb to lure them into the hole? I'm not really sure. Oh, right, right, I remember. You have to actually get Flurry out and give him a bit of a shove. They otherwise will not think to drop down the hole by themselves because they are a bit silly. Come on. Get down there. Yeah, uh, wrangling these punies is a little fiddly. <laughs> is that the last one? I think it is. There we go. Okay, they're all down the hole now. So we drop down and we all have a 101. Okay, excellent. Come with us, friends. I get stuck on the... Come on, come on. Pathfind, you can do this. I believe in you. <laughs> we actually want to go down that pipe, uh, which means we need to get everyone uh, onto that top ledge there. Which means we got to do this little dance again, unfortunately. Gather all the punies. Give them a little bit of a push. Okay, you, t you, you last couple, what are you doing? Okay, it didn't take nearly as much effort, so that's nice. Uh, it says one. Is there a peony hiding somewhere? I'm not seeing. It should say zero. I guess I'll drop down and see what happens. Okay, cool, 101. We're good. Down the hole. <laughs> okay, we do two damage now. Quite good. Uh, and we have a spin jump option. Attack by first stomping, then spin jumping on enemies. I believe that just hits them twice, basically. Unfortunately, our uh, companions still only do their usual damage. I believe we can buff them up eventually, but not quite yet. Can I tattle on the mini yucks? There we go. Ah, 
I'm real bad at those. We're about to level up. Level up. Give us more badge points. Here we are. <laughs> We're inside the great tree. Grass is another plant growing here. Isn't that cool? You think the great tree is like a host organism? Biology is just so cool. A multi bounce might be a good move here. These guys are flying, so we can't just use like Coop Coops' shell thingy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good start. Uh, then we can take out one of them like so. Yeah. And another one. Yeah. And they're gonna summon those annoying things, yeah. I wonder if another you know multi-bounce will actually work. Find out. I missed, missed up the timing, so... I think it might have worked, but I messed it up. <laughs> Probably equipped with some more badges, by the way, now that we can. Okay, let's get Flurry out here, because apparently she's good at this. Flurry. Oh yeah, that wasn't that didn't that did a recent job, yeah. Okay, it's gonna summon another one now, so um We just bop that one. I don't know how to fight with Flurry at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just uh, bring you to the forefront here. Okay. Pipe we go. I'm hoping we see another save block soon because it would be good to. Because we're getting we're coming to about a half hour at this point. Uh... Oh yeah, I remember this. So the dealio here. This room's full of water, which we can't cross. But if we whack that switch over there. Uh, somehow. We might need Flurry's help? I don't remember. It's a good thing these guys can float over the water somehow, even though we can't. As you can see. I think I might just need to platform on these, these uh, pillars here to get to the other side and go from... I'm a little confused. And I keep messing up my jumps as well. Okay, then we can go up here. Okay, and then we can hit that switch on this side. Oh, right! Right, 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 right. Yeah, that switch makes the thing go other way, but if we throw Coops over there and then just walk back like this... Boop!
is a very safe thing to do with all the peonies down there in the room we're about to flood. <laughs> I believe these lily pads will form a bridge such that they can get across without any trouble. Also, there's a chest here. Drink stomp. Should we put some more badges on? We have the points to do it. Uh, let me see. Power bounce is good. Happy heart is good. A lot of these I can't really afford at this point. I'm so early in the game. Put on Happy Heart and something that costs one. Uh, there we go. I believe Happy Heart, like, you heal one health every, like, two turns or something like that. Not, like, super good healing, but it's better than nothing. I can't see where I'm going because there's so many punies everywhere. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm lined up. Okay, there we go. Get over here, punies. Okay, we got the shrine. Let's let's get out of here. Uh, I assume it's this pipe. <laughs> Yep, 101 on this big button here. Uh, what's- oh no, what's happening? Oh, it was an elevator. Oh, that's how you get to this room. I'm going to chuck down a save. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, I'm going to check out this room. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about the enormous delay there while I was trying to figure out what the heck to do, but <laughs> it, it, got, it, I got there in the end. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye!